welcome. Hey, my name's C. Scott, and today we're going to talk about how to load the AT launcher for Minecraft, and also how to pull down the Mech and Magic mod pack. So let's get started. First thing, let's start with Google. Google and AT launcher is what we're going to search for. And right here at the top will be www.atlauncher.com. We will go ahead and go straight to there. Uh, here, we're going to want to go to the downloads button up at the top. And uh, if you notice here, uh, they've already got an AT Launcher install on how to use videos. Absolutely great. Please use that. But we're also going to take that a little bit further today. So we're going to go to download the windows.exe portion of it. Once the file is downloaded, then we're going to want to place it into the folder location of where we want it. I usually put it in a separate location uh, where I do the rest of uh, Curse Launcher, FTB, and other things. And so we'll place it in there. And we'll place it in its own folder. And now we'll launch it. And we will run. And it should be ready to go here in just a second. All right, let's transition this guy over. All right, so once it is launched, you will notice now that you come to this screen here, okay? Uh, you load your accounts in here, so you select an account and you will, uh, you'll have to log that in. But let's first go to some of the settings. Settings real quickly here, Minecraft. I'm gonna set this up a little bit higher to uh, the 892. Uh, yes, I understand that. <laughs> I have a lot more memory on this. And then I'm also gonna select the options of a 920 by 80. Perfect, okay, we're gonna save. All right, accounts is where you'll add your account. So add an account, you'll add your username in here and password here. Okay, easy enough, right? Okay, now how do you get Mech and Magic? Well, if you go to packs here, packs, and then you scroll down, you notice all the different packs they've got here. Um, and we just keep going down just a bit. Maybe, did I pass it yet? No, I did not. All right, good. Uh, Mech and Magic is right here. So we wanna do a new instance. So we're gonna go do a new instance. Uh, and you have to set your account up first. So just a second, let me set up my account and I'll be right back with you. All right, so our account's been created. You see I'm right here now. And we do new instance, okay? Mech and Magic to install and it gives you all the different versions you can and we're gonna go ahead and install that. Uh, let me see if... Okay, so now what it's going to do, it's going to give you the option of what mods you want to install with it. You guys, this is up to you, whatever you'd like. I'm gonna do some Optifine, Dynamic Lights, uh, Inventory Tweaks, you know, Journey Map. Pick the ones you want, okay? These are the optional mods over here. On this side are ever, all the mods that actually go with it and you wanna leave all those depending on your play. All right, and then we're gonna hit Install. All right, and Pretty much it goes pretty quick actually all right so everything is downloaded and you'll now notice that mech and magic has been installed we'll hit the ok button and next pops up back into this screen here all right so the AT launcher we'll go to instances and now all you do is hit play and it launches for you just that easy all right and that's how easy it is. Simple enough? I hope so. Hey, if you do have questions, when you go to AT Launcher, you'll notice that they've got a, uh, a whole video there on how to do that. Um, I'll put in the description, uh, actually, the information of how to get to it so you, can, you don't have to Google it and whatnot. But if you're looking to play Mech and Magic and you're used to an FTB launcher, a Technic launcher, something else other than the AT Launcher, I hope this has helped. If you have any questions, please leave a comment, questions, concerns, complaints, gripes and moans, whatever you'd like. But until next time, y'all, my name's C. Scott, and we'll catch y'all again very, very soon.